In today's video, you're not making progress despite the fact that you're in a caloric deficit. I'm gonna explain how to fix it. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today's question comes from right here on my Instagram direct message. So what I'd like to do from time to time is answer your questions and I'm gonna start doing a lot more of that. So I would appreciate if you guys would send me the questions that you're having um, around your goals of fat loss. Now, I've been doing this for more than a decade as a coach and I really wanna give back to you guys and help you out reach your goals. That's why we do our transformation challenge, which we'll be starting in January. So be sure to look for the details on that below. But first I wanna read today's question right here and then I wanna answer it. I'm 50 years old, 81 kilograms, 25% body fat. I resistance train two to three times a week. Total daily energy expenditure about 2250 and a deficit of 500 a day, tracking all my intake through my fitness pal. Macros, 170 protein, 150 carb, 50 fat. I'm committed and determined, but the scale will not go below 80 kilograms since mid-August. It's not more muscle, less body fat based on my analysis. Need your expert advice on what to change. So this is something that I commonly see amongst people that are trying to lose weight. They're really relying on the technology. Now, the technology has come a long way, right? We've got smart trackers, we've got Fitbits, we've got our phones, we've got Apple watches that tell us, hey, this is how many calories you're burning. We also have apps that track our calories like Fat Secret. Some apps like MyFitnessPal will actually try to give you, hey, this is how many calories you're burning, this is how many calories you're consuming. But what we have to realize, everybody is that we are unique okay as much as i would like to put everybody in a single box and say hey this is your plan this is going to work understanding that what you believe is a 500 calorie a day deficit is right now your maintenance right you're basing this off a calculation that's telling you what to eat and that you should be losing body fat but as a coach what i do is i look at data i look at pictures i look at measurements are you taking pictures of yourself now you said you're sure it's not more muscle less body fat so i'm assuming measurements aren't changing clothing isn't fitting differently your face isn't visibly different to lose body fat what you'll need to do is increase your caloric deficit you're also doing the same exact calories every day the same exact activity every week so you're in a really good place to actually look at what it takes to lose body fat if you wanna look like somebody that doesn't look like everybody else, you're gonna to have to do things that other people aren't willing to do. This is the difference between competitive bodybuilders, fitness professionals, is that we look at opportunities in our day to get leaner. We don't look at the data and say, well, woe is me, I'm just not losing weight. Instead, we take it upon ourselves to decide how to change our bodies through nutrition, through activity. The first and overwhelming thing that you said to me that stood out was like, you're very inactive. So despite the fact that you brought your calories down, you found this maintenance around that activity. Two to three workouts a week is great. Why not four to five? No activity is fine, but why not start with some daily activity? I'm documenting myself right now. I'm gonna be doing uh, an hour on the treadmill every single day for 30 days to show you guys what happens to my body over those 30 days. But this is something that I'm gonna incorporate in my day. I actually made it very easy for me to access some cardiovascular activity. Now you can go for a walk outside, but a walk outside is not gonna be, let's say, as intense as an incline walk, just like it's not as intense as a jog. So finding ways to move more is really going to help you, okay? It's all about creating that energy balance and finding what is your deficit. The calories that we consume, okay, those are going to be stored or burned. The activity that we do is going to help us burn more calories throughout the day. And for us, it's about finding that happy place. Now, you've also been doing something that I like to consider linear dieting, the same macros every single day. Now, assuming you're not going way over or way under on certain days, I would start to incorporate what I call refeed days, where we actually do things like higher carbohydrate days to just kind of give us that momentum. It'll also help us fill out with glycogen for our muscles so our performance improves. Remember, if you're doing the same thing every day and nothing's happening, you have to make a change. And for a lot of us, we trust that data too much. I hear a lot of people tell me like, I'm in a deficit. I hear this all the time now. If you're not losing body fat, if you're not losing inches, if you're not seeing visible changes, you are not in a deficit. The deficit is not defined by the app or by the calculator. The deficit is defined by the progress. As a coach, when my clients check in with me every week, that's my job to determine, are we making progress or do we need to make changes? I don't trust the calculation that says, well, Sally, you're in a deficit and you're not losing weight, so you're lying to me, you're overeating. No, I trust my clients are telling me the truth and that the data is telling me, hey, 
this is the change that we need to make. And if you have no idea where to start, we have a free calculator that I'll put on the screen here. If you go to prophysique.com, it's very well uh, put together. It also gives you things like, uh, you know, meal timing. Uh, if you want to go high protein, low protein, it's got a lot of options on there. It's not just the straight up kind of BMR calculator. It's got a lot of detail. And then we also have a guided coaching process that's about to start in January with our transformation challenge. So hopefully this gives you some insight. I think your calories are good. I think your approach is good. You just need to make an adjustment. And that's where I would try to get everybody that watches these videos to get by removing variables, right? Eat kind of the same calories, the same macros, the same foods for a week, keep the same activity level. And if you're not making progress, that's going to tell you a lot. Now, if you want to drag it out to two weeks, that's fine. But understanding that as a coach, what I look for for my clients is a way to eliminate variables to assure that we are making progress. All right, guys, hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Be sure to send your questions.